Well, the Prime Minister is demanding full accountability, summoning the ambassador to explain after seven aid workers, including one Australian, were killed by an Israeli airstrike in Gaza. Let's go to Canberra now. Joining us live is the Foreign Minister, Penny Wong. Uh, Minister, good to see you. Thanks for your time this morning. There was a response overnight from Benjamin Netanyahu. He said it was unintentional, which can happen in war. Do you accept that? Uh, no, I don't. We are outraged. Uh, by what has occurred. I want to start by honouring the life of Zomi Frankom, uh, uh, someone whose life was dedicated to the service of others, and I want to express to her family and those who loved her that Australians mourn with her. We are outraged by what has occurred. Uh, we have demanded uh, full accountability. Uh, aid workers going into a conflict zone to deliver humanitarian aid uh, uh, should not uh, meet... Uh, their deaths in the way we have seen. So by not accepting that it was unintentional, is that a suggestion that you think it is targeted, that it was a targeted attack? Uh, uh, I don't accept uh, uh, your, the point you put to me that this is war, this happens. Uh, this, is, this should not happen. Uh, and okay. we, we want full accountability from the Israeli government for what has occurred. Uh, we think Australians... Are, require, are demanding that, uh, and we think uh, that certainly uh, Zomi's family mm. and those who loved her... Uh, do, what, what, OK, war aside, what about the unintentional aspect of Benjamin Netanyahu's excuse? Well, l let us see what the uh, inquiries and accountability demonstrate, and we certainly want a full and thorough investigation as to how this could have okay. occurred. Do you think, given it is a war zone, that you will get a full and thorough investigation? Well, we expect that. But there are difficulties, yes, in doing that. Well, we, we expect that. Uh, we expect Israel to uh, ensure there is a, a full, uh, transparent uh, uh, investigation and full accountability. Uh, remember that uh, uh, Zami Frankom was not the only person who uh, died uh, in uh, uh, the, this attack. Uh, we saw an, a number of other aid workers also uh, mm. uh, were killed in this attack, uh, including other foreign nationals. And I would say to you, Pete, this war has been, or this, uh, this conflict has been, this war has been uh, particularly deadly for aid workers, some 196 aid workers have been killed uh, since this conflict mm. began. Um, Minister, you've spoken to your counterpart in Israel overnight. What, what were the contents of that discussion? What was said? Uh, well, I was very clear with him about the outrage Australians uh, wanted to express. I was very clear with him about uh, our demand for full accountability. Uh, uh, I was very clear with him about the importance of transparency uh, and I also re I spoke again to him about why it is that Israel needs to ensure that it complies with international humanitarian law, including both the provision of aid and the protection of aid workers. Mm. And what did he say? Well, I, I don't, I'm not going to go into every detail of the discussion. Okay. Uh, obviously, we had a lengthy discussion. He, he did, I will say this, he did express uh, the sympathy, uh, sympathy and condolences on behalf of his government uh, for... Uh, the death of uh, Zomi Frankom uh, to the Australian government and also to her family. Okay.